There you go. <laughs> get out there. Get out of the camera. Yeah, I only try to get away from the camera now, fellas. Nah. This one, this one, I'm going to stay from here. All right. I'm going to look underneath my truck, check for any fluid leaks or any puddles or drips. That's the first thing on our 3Ls. Check my license plate. It's properly mounted secured. It's current and up to date. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My headlights are properly mounted secure. They're not haze cracked or broken. They're clear in color. Properly mounted secure, not missing any bolts, nuts, and hardware. Park turn signal. Properly mounted secure. They're not haze cracked or broken. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and they're amber in color. My clearance ID lights are properly mounted secure. They're not haze cracked or broken. They're amber in color, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. That's it for the front of my truck. Close my hood in my engine compartment. Start on the right side. Name everything on the right side, then I'm going to go to the left. Because everything in the state of North Carolina is done down the left hand side, unless there's anything unique that's on the right hand side. That all depends on what truck you're doing and what engine you're inspecting as to what is on the right hand side versus what is on the left hand side. This is a Detroit in the Freightliner. The Volvo has a Volvo engine in it, so there, there is differences. This morning we're doing the Freightliner with a Detroit. My alternator is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. The wires are also properly mounted and secured. They're not frayed. There's no naked wires that can cause a short. It is belt driven and the belt has no more than half to three quarters of an inch of free play. We'll visually inspect all my hoses on this side. They're not cut or frayed, dry rotted. The clamps are in place. There's no signs of any leaking. That is the only thing I have to inspect on the right side of this engine. But you, you also want to inspect all your hoses, your air intake, Make sure there's no leaks, all your clamps are in place. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware anywhere. Now I'm gonna move on to the left side. You need to have a system in place. I start at the back of the engine, work my way towards the front. Save my steering for last, then I work, work in my steering, steering linkage, and move on to suspension, brakes, tires, and rims. But I'm going to start with my engine drive components. My power steering pump is way back here in the back. It's properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not missing any bolts or nuts or hardware. There's no signs of any leaking, and it is gear driven. My air compressor. It's properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. It's not showing any signs of any leaks. It's also gear driven. Anything on the back is going to be gear driven. Anything on the front side should be belt driven. All my hoses are intact. I don't see any signs of any leaks. My engine oil filler, uh, engine oil indicator, is properly mounted secured. It's at a proper fluid level. If it was low, I would add to. And it's not leaking. My oil filler cap, caps on tight, properly mounted, secured, not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and it's not leaking. <clears throat> My coolant reservoir is properly mounted, secured, it's not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. Uh, the caps are on tight, they're not leaking, the reservoir itself is not leaking, and it's at a proper fluid level. My hoses are also properly mounted secure. They're not cut, frayed, or dry rotted. The clamps are in place, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and it doesn't show any signs of any leaking. Also, my water pump, properly mounted secure. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and it's not leaking. 
it's belt driven and my my drive belt has no more than half, than half to three quarters of an inch of free play. My power steering hoses are properly mounted and secured. They're not cut, frayed, or damaged. The clamps are in place and doesn't show any signs of any leaking. My power steering fluid reservoir is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. The caps are in place. It's not leaking and is at a proper fluid level. My power steering shaft is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. The U-joints are in place. And it has no excessive free play. My power steering gearbox is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts or nuts or hardware. And it's not leaking. My pitman arm is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. The castle nut and cotter pin is in place. My drag link is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. And the castle nut and cotter pin is in place towards the rear of it. My tie rod is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. And that concludes my, my uh, steering section. On to my suspension. My front spring hanger, leaf spring hanger, is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, damaged. It's not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My leaf springs are properly mounted and secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. There's no cracks, no shifting, and no illegal welds. My U-bolts are properly mounted and secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My lower shock mount is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My shock absorber is not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. And it's not leaking. My upper shock mount is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My rear spring hanger it's properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. That is all, that is all for my front suspension. On to my front brake steering axle brake system. My brake hose is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and it's not leaking. My brake chamber is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and it's not leaking, and the clamp's in place. My push rod is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. The cotter pin and clevis pin's in place. My slack adjuster is properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. It's at approximately a 90 degree angle from my push rod. Has no more than one inch of free play. My brake shoes are properly mounted and secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. And not worn dangerously thin. My brake drum is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. There's no cracks, no illegal wells, no oil or grease that can start a fire. My tire. My side walls have no abrasions, bruises, or cuts. The tread depth is at least 230, uh, 430 seconds of an inch of tread depth in all major grooves and to have an even wear pattern. My bud rim properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. There's no cracks, no illegal welds. My valve stem is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Caps on tight. It's not leaking. I would check my air pressure in my tire using the tire pressure gauge. My wheel studs and lug nuts are all properly mounted and secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. There's no shiny metal or free running rust indicating any looseness. My hub seal, properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. It's not leaking. It's at a proper fluid level. On to the side of my truck. My door mirror is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. It's clean and clearly visible. It's not cracked or broken. My 
inspection sticker is properly mounted, secured, clean, visible, and up to date. My turn signal sign marker light is properly mounted, secured. It's not haze, cracked, or broken. And it is amber in color. My cab steps are properly mounted, secured, not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. There's no oil or grease or any objects that could cause me to slip uh, entering and ex exiting the cab. My door handle is properly mounted, secured, not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and open and closes properly. My door hinges are properly mounted, secured, they're not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and they support the weight of my door. My door seal is properly mounted, secured, it's not bent, broken, or damaged, not cut or torn, uh, and it looks like it seals properly. <clears throat> I have a properly charged, current and up to date 10 BC fire extinguisher. It's properly mounted and secured. And I have three reflective triangles that are properly mounted and secured and they're in working order. And I also have spare fuses if I need them. My fuel tank is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Uh, it's not cut, doesn't show any signs of any leaking. Caps on tight, properly mounted and secured, and it's not leaking either. And my fuel tank straps are properly mounted and secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. And the rubber insulators are in place to prevent metal, metal to metal contact that could cause a leak. Also, my fuel lines are properly mounted and secured. They're not cut or damaged, and they're not leaking. My catwalk steps are properly mounted and secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. There's no foreign objects, no oil, no grease that could cause me to slip. My DOT reflectors are properly mounted and secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. My airlines, cab mounted airlines, properly mounted and secured, they're not bent, broken, or damaged, they're not cut, tangled, frayed, or dragging, they're not showing any signs of any leaks, and my electrical connector is properly mounted and secured, uh, the safety catch is in place, and there's no uh, dirt or water or anything that could cause it to short out, and also my air lines are not tangled, they're not dragging or rubbing, not showing any signs of any leaks. At my trailer, my airlines, glad hands and seals are properly mounted and secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. And the rubber grommets are in place uh, to prevent leaking. My electrical line is also properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged, not cut, no dirt, no water that can cause a short. It's plugged in and the safety catches in place. My trailer inspection sticker is current and up to date, properly mounted and secured. My catwalk is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and it will support my weight, and there's no oil or grease or foreign objects that could cause me to slip. My frame, properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged, not cracked, not sagging, and there's no illegal welds. My drive shaft, properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not cracked, bent, broken, or damaged. There's no illegal welds. The overall condition, the front of my trailer, uh, the bulkhead or header board, it's properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not cut, no holes, no leaks. And it's not missing any bolts, nuts, hardware, or rivets. My My brake lines, brake hoses, are properly mounted and secured. They're not cut or frayed or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and there's no leaks. My brake chamber is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. The clamps are in place, and there's no leaks. My push rod is properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken, or damaged. The clevis pin and cotter pins are in place. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. 
my slack adjuster is properly mounted secure, not bent, broken, or damaged. It's at approximately a 90 degree angle from my push rod. Has no more than one inch of free play. It's not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My brake shoes are properly mounted secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. Return springs are in place. They're not worn dangerously thin. My brake drum is properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not cracked, no illegal welds. Not worn dangerously thin, and there's no oil or grease that can start a fire. My torsion bar is properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. The bushings are in place. My front spring hanger is properly mounted secured. Not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My leaf springs are properly mounted secure, not bent, broken, or damaged, not cracked, no illegal wells, they're not shifted, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My U-bolts are properly mounted secure, they're not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My, uh, we'll have to move around to the, uh, between the, uh, the tandems. My lower shock mount is properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My shock absorber is properly mounted secured, not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and it's not leaking. My upper shock mount is properly mounted secured, not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My lower airbag mount. It's properly mounted secure, it's not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My airbag, properly mounted secure, it's not cut or damaged, and it's not leaking, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My upper airbag mount is properly mounted secure, it's not bent, broken, or damaged, and not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. The sidewalls of my dry tires have no abrasions, bruises, or cuts. Tread depth is at least two thirty seconds of an inch in all major grooves and have an even wear pattern. My buds, there, uh, my bud spacing. There's no gaps, no spacing, and there's no foreign objects in between lodged in between uh, my duels that could fly out going down the road. My bud rims are properly mounted, secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. They're not cracked. There's no illegal wells. My valve stems are both properly mounted secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. They're not cracked, they're leaking, and the caps are on tight. And I will check my tire pressure using a tire pressure gauge. My wheel studs and lug nuts are properly mounted secured. There's none bent, broken, damaged, or missing. There's no shiny metal or free running rust indicating any looseness. My hub seal is properly mounted secured. Not uh, cut or damaged, there's no leaks, and they're not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. And it has set a proper fluid level. On my coupling system, <coughs> my platform, my mounting platform is properly mounted secure. It's not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. <coughs> my mounting bolts are all properly mounted secure. There's none bent, broken, damaged, or missing. My fifth wheel slide plate is properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My fifth wheel slide locking pins are properly mounted secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My fifth wheel release arm is properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. And it is in a locked or engaged position. My pivot pin, my fifth wheel pivot pins and bushings a proper amount of secure, there's no excessive free play, uh, no cracks, no illegal wells, and the clevis pin and cotter pins in place. My fifth wheel slide plate is properly mounted secure, it's not bent, broken, or damaged, not cracked, there's no illegal wells, and there's no gaps or spacing in between my fifth, my fifth wheel and my apron. My apron is properly mounted secure, it's not bent, broken, or damaged, 
There's no cracks and there's no illegal wells or no illegal holes. My kingpin's properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not cracked. There's no illegal wells. My fifth wheel lock, my kingpin locking jaws are properly mounted secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged, and they're in a locked or engaged position. My DOT reflector on the rear of my tractor is uh, clean and in place, properly mounted secured. It's not haze cracked or broken. My backup light is properly mounted secured. It's not haze cracked or broken. It's clear in color. My stop tail turn signals are properly mounted secured. They're not haze cracked or broken, and they're red in color. My license plate light, properly mounted secure, it's clear in color, it's not haze cracked or broken. My mud flap hangers, properly mounted secure, they're not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, and the DOT reflective tape is clean and in place. My mud flaps or splash guards, properly mounted secure, they're not cut, frayed, or torn, and they're not dragging the ground to have sufficient ground clearance. While I'm right here, I'm observing the cross members and the uh, Overall condition of the floor of my trailer. It's all in place, properly mounted secure, not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My landing gear. The cross members are all properly mounted secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. They're not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My landing gear legs are properly mounted secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. They're not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My landing gear feet are properly mounted secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. And they're in a raised position. <coughs> My crank handle, properly mounted secured. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. Not bent, broken, or damaged. And it's in a stowed position. My trailer frame, frame rails, are properly mounted secured. Not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. The DOT reflective tape is clean and in place. Overall condition of the side of my trailer is properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. There's no holes or no leaks. <coughs> not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware or any rivets. My left turn side marker light is properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not haze, cracked, or broken. And it's amber in color. My front clearance light is properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not haze, cracked, or broken. It's amber in color. My airlines, for all my, tra my trailer tandem air supply, it's properly mounted secured. <clears throat> it's not cut or damaged. Not tangled, not dragging the ground. And there's no signs of any leaks. My tandem slide release is properly mounted secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. And it is a locked or engaged position and it is not leaking as well. My tandem slide rails are properly mounted secured, not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My tandem slide pins are properly mounted secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. There's two on each side and they're in a locked or engaged position. My upper shock mounts are properly mounted secured, not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My shock absorber is properly mounted secured, not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware, it's not leaking. My lower shock mount is also properly mounted secured, not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My lower airbag mounts are properly mounted secured, not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My upper airbag mounts are properly mounted secure, not bent, broken, or damaged, not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My airbag itself is properly mounted secure, not missing any uh, bolts, nuts, or hardware. It's not cut, not leaking, or damaged. My 
air lines, uh, brake, brake lines, hoses <coughs> are properly mounted and secured. They're not bent, broken, or damaged. Not cut or frayed. Doesn't show any signs of any leaks. My brake chamber, properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. Clamps are in place and they're not leaking. My push rod, properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. <coughs> the clevis pin and cotter pins in place. My slack adjuster is properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or damaged. It's at a 90 degree angle, has no more than one inch of free play. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My brake shoes are properly mounted and secured, not bent, broken, or damaged. Return springs in place and they're not more dangerously thin and the return, uh, return springs in place, I said that. There's no oil or grease that can start a fire. <coughs> My brake drums probably mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not cracked. There's no illegal wells and there's, and there's no oil or grease pulling on the bottom that can start a fire on that either. My dual tires. The side walls have no abrasions, bruises, or cuts. The tread depth is at least 230 seconds in all major grooves and they have an even wear pattern. No uh, gaps or spacing in between my dual, my bug rims, and there's no foreign objects that can fly out going down the road. My bud rims are properly mounted secured, they're not bent, broken, or damaged. There's no cracks, no illegal welds. My valve stems are also properly mounted secured, they're not bent, broken, or damaged. The caps are in place, they're not leaking. And I would check my tire pressure using the air pressure gauge, tire pressure gauge. My wheel studs are properly mounted and secured. They're not bent, broken, damaged. There's none missing. There's no shiny threads and no free running rust indicating any looseness. My hub seal is properly mounted and secured. Not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. It's not leaking and it's at a proper fluid level. My ABS light is properly mounted and secured. It's not haze cracked or broken. It's amber in color. It should go off. Uh, and if it comes on and stays on, it indicates I have a problem with my ABS system. My rear side marker light is properly mounted and secured. It's not haze cracked or broken. And it is red in color. On to the rear of my trailer. Same thing with the front. In the back, I start at the bottom. So I get to the top. My DOT bumper is properly mounted and secured. It's not being broken or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. And it supports my weight. My DOT reflective tank is clean and in place. My license plate light is properly mounted and secured. It's not haze cracked or broken and it's clear in color. My license plate is properly mounted and secured. It's current and up to date. My stop tail turn lights are properly mounted and secured. They're not haze cracked or broken. They're red in color. My rear door latch is properly mounted secure. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. That latch is proper. Also, my door handle is properly mounted secure. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. Not missing any bolts, nuts, or hardware. My support cables. This is a roll-up door. They're properly mounted secured. They're not cut, frayed, or damaged. And they support the weight of the door. Overall condition of my roll-up door is properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. It's not missing any bolts, nuts, or rivet. And there's no, there's no holes or any leaks. Overall condition of the inside of my trailer is clean, properly mounted and secured. It's not bent, broken, or damaged anywhere. There's no uh, holes, no signs of any leaks. My DOT reflector tape on my door is properly mounted secure. At the bottom and the top, it's clean and in place. My clearance ID lights are properly mounted secure. They're not haze cracked or broken and they're red in color. That's it for the rear.
Remember, the right side, as long as there's not anything different on the right side and the left side, you don't have to mention it. 